It is anything suspicious? No, I didn't. These things happen with great building works. It wasn't the first time, and God forgive me for saying it, but it won't be the last. God save you. What can I do for you? I heard you found something. It's true. I dug it up during work. I then ran away with it and got rid of it so the others wouldn't see. But rumours spread anyway. And what was it that nobody was supposed to see? What do you think? A demon skull. Here, on holy ground, in the middle of the monastery. But it was outside the monastery walls. Where exactly? Is there anything else there worth seeing? Nothing but scaffolding. We started digging there to set foundations for extending it. And are you sure it was a devil's skull? I know what I saw. I can recognize a human skull. And this one had horns. Like the devil, besides. That thing gave off a diabolical stink. And where is it now? What did you do with it? I... I was taking it down to the river to throw it in. Only I dropped it at the top of the slope and it rolled downhill. The devil alone knows where it ended up. Hmm. I'll see if I can find it. Good luck to you. <coughs>
This has to be the stone that hit him. I'll take a piece of it. Maybe someone will recognize it. The stone fell on him here. You can still see the marks. Never to lend money to kin. It's always a nuisance. That's just what I said to him. Oh, how did he take that? He took it. Well, like a man. It was the wife. Wait here for me. Stay. I'd like to have seen that. Well, at least he paid it back in the end. He did. But. I said he might throw in a groschen or two more for all the time I had to wait. And he near bit my head off. You can't choose your kin, eh? Isn't that God's truth?
To heal, Mutt. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. It looks genuine, but I'm not capable of judging.
What do you do here? What I can. I'm just trying to help the Scalots locals as much as I can. Thank you. May the Lord watch over you. Hey, who's that? What? What do you want here? Go and play your game somewhere else. Hey, what the? Clear off before it's all attacked.
is the way to the fort we fly. This is very far, far away, but I'm very far here I stay. My breath is short, my feet are sore, I buy a horse and I fall. The sun may burn, the sun may shine, but you will not live a day in mine. The sun he hides behind the cloud, his heat goes cold and his fire goes out. <laughs> He's down the fifth one with the snag, and he's down upon the back. Try your fish to show best, fishy thighs and fishy breasts. <laughs>
Jesus! Water! Good Christians, don't leave me to die. Thank you. Thank you a hundredfold. Have a good heart. Stuck there all day like a beast in a trap, humiliated, abused, and left to starve. Gives me goosebumps just to think of that. God save you. What can I do for you? Are you in need of a helping hand, Master Butcher? Up and hand? No. But I've got a problem with supplies. I understand. 
The roads aren't safe these days. No, that's not what I meant. Beef and pork I can get plenty of. But the burgers here have a taste for aristocratic food. And maybe you can help me with that. You want me to poach game? Heaven forbid I would ever suggest such a thing. No, you would have to get it by, uh, other means. I don't want to spoil your plans, but game doesn't grow on trees. No, but if you happen to be walking in the woods and, uh, came across something, if you see what I mean. All right. Let's say I'll take a walk in the woods and I'll come across something and bring it to you. Excellent. I'm glad to see you speak my language. Get me a wild boar for now, so I can see what you can do. And don't worry, you'll be well rewarded. From all over the world, the relics of saints from Italy, altar candles from France, and pieces of cloth all the way from the Holy Land. Garlic, onions, mushrooms, and asparagus. Salami, sausages, lard of all huh. kinds, and scratches I know that make your you. mouth water more than I know the you from finest some... cake. Hmm. Where do I know you from? What? Of course, my dream. You were in a boat made of bone, and I put a crown of thorns on your head. All right. Tell me about this dream of yours. That dream? Yes, that dream has come true. I dreamt that a young man would become my apprentice, my own pupil in the trade of miracles. And that's supposed to be me? Oh, well. What's your name, young man? Oh. Henry. Henry. And chicken. Mm. A powerful name. So, Henry, are you ready to become my apprentice? Try them. First, tell me, who are you and what do you do? Me? Our Lord I am an unworthy, low, and miserable Come servant and of providence. And poor Scholar and or merchant. Believer or heathen. I wander the world without home or family, with only my wagon offering miracles to those that need them. That's who I am. Without home or kin, I wander this Cucumber. world with my Love wagon, providing the miracles that people need. Ointment, relics, aromatic herbs, if your husband is murdered, rare spices, will be talisman, amulet for luck. All these things I have. What exactly does it entail, becoming your apprentice? Oh, a lot of work and strenuous labor. Knowledge of medicine, theology, and white magic. You have to study the great works of the ancients and devote your time to understanding your fellow men, listening to them and learn to read their souls. That's a pretty challenging task. That's why God has sent you. Garlic, so what do you say? Salami, sausages, lard of all kinds and scratchings that make your mouth water more than the finest cake. All right, I'll be your apprentice. Wonderful. Oh, glorious day. I have a successor in my work. So how do you plan to start training me? With a test of your practical skills. Oh. Oh. 
I have my eye on three rare objects of great value. Salami, but sadly, they're a little difficult to obtain. Meat of all shapes, sizes, and flavors. But just so we're clear, I'm not stealing anything for you. Who said anything about stealing? But you said these are valuable things you're after. I don't suppose you can just pick them up anywhere. Valuable for me, because I know their power and strength. For an ordinary mortal, they barely mean anything. Oh. Well, that's fine then. First, I need a tooth of Saint Procopius. Then I'll need a branch from a topping out hung on a church. And finally, a talisman. Come right up. Luck. It's a My fish passion. for your eyes and your stomach. Bloody hell, it's hard that's to a resist. lot. You'll not find better right. meat anyway. One thing at a time. About that tooth. It's going to be slightly more complicated, isn't it? I know. Yes, it would be very difficult to gain such a rare relic, of course. Our that's Lord's why I tasty. have an alternative Good on solution. For fry, I'm listening. Come and get it, fine people. A layman and named Procopius and lives by the monastery. Taste. And it just so happens, thanks to my intricate medical knowledge, that I've found out he has a sick tooth. How did he find out he has a sore tooth? Uh, as if it happens, he told me at the tavern. But that's stir. not important. If your husband is murdered, our sausages will be here. Come and how am I supposed them. to get the tooth? I haven't the faintest idea. You'll have to think of something. But maybe you'll be able to persuade him to let the blacksmith pull it. Wouldn't that be swindling people? From the yard or it is, the and, and, and it isn't. Chicken and if I sell that tooth as the tooth of Saint Procopius, then it certainly is deceitful. But if I sell it as a tooth from Procopius of Sassau, then I'm cheating nobody. Does it really matter whose tooth I bring, then? Of course it does. The name Procopius in this holy land is shrouded in mystical power. Sometimes I might play a trivial trick on someone, but I assure you, I'm no swindler. Fine. I'll get it from him. Wonderful. Salami, this topping out, what's that? <laughs> You're not a carpenter, it seems. Than the finest No, cake. I'm a blacksmith. I see. Well, a topping out is a decorated spruce or a conifer tree hung on top of the roof of a new house to bring good fortune and God's blessing. Well, then all we need to do is break off a branch somewhere Buy a few ribbons, and we've got our own homemade topping out right there. You don't understand, young man. The topping out was sanctified by a priest, and it hangs on the highest church far and wide. You can't just replace it with a decorated branch. Fair enough. That topping off is hung pretty high, isn't it? Come right up. Naturally. For your eyes it hangs on the rooftop it's according to, to tradition, not find better and the church anywhere. is tall. And how am I supposed to get it down? Well, damned if I know. But they had to get it up there somehow, didn't they? Very well. I'll get it. This player's talisman. Where am I supposed to find it? I actually have a specific one in mind. Here at the inn, there's a dice player who always has a cat's paw with him. That's supposed to bring him luck. Evil spirits at bay. A cat's paw? I thought players bring along a rabbit's paw for luck. Uh, I thought so too. But this man is down, winning I'll one game after another, good. so if cats are murdered, clearly even uh, more powerful than here. rabbits. Come and get oh. them. How am I supposed to get the talisman from him? I haven't a clue. It won't be easy, but I'm sure you'll find a way. We'll see. Very well. I'll get you the paw. Cured and fresh from the I'll get looking for those the things then. It all tastes Excellent. Delicious. You do that, my journeyman. Good luck. Garlic, onions, 
Mushrooms and asparagus. Come right up. Will you teach me how to pickpocket better? Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. From the yard or Isn't that from quite the a lot? Lean and fatty pork, chicken and bacon. We have it all. Come what do you say to this? Come now, just a little more and we have a deal. Since it's you. Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Agreed. Now, listen up. Cucumber, lovely cucumber, asparagus and prune. Meat, mutton, veal, beef, and chicken. God be with you. Do you need anything? <laughs> Goodbye. Let's talk about the price. Aye. Here, and something for your trouble. Well now, thank you very much. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Good men, good wives, come have a look. Don't be shy, you'll never see such fine mates. Someone attack you. I found this skull. People are saying it's the skull of a demon, but I don't know. It certainly looks like it, with the horns and all. Well, let's see. Those are deer antlers that someone's fixed to this human skull. It's not a devil, just a bit of devilry. I'm glad to hear it's not the real thing. Someone must have put it there deliberately, knowing that's where they were due to dig. And they put a lot of work into it, too. The horns are held on tight, even though it was lying in water. Whoever did this was skilled bugger, and no mistake. God be with you.
Salami. Wait here for me. Stay. Good fella. That's my boy. God's blessings. I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. Uh-huh. And what do you want? I'd like that. Thank you. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? You won't regret spending the money. I guarantee it. Good luck, then. I'm interested in your uh, services. Uh-huh. And what do you want? I'd like um, a private bar for two. But of course. Money first, though. I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? Is this enough? Come now, just a little more and we have a deal. You won't regret spending the money. I guarantee it. God be with Is there something you need? <laughs> 